This is the self-publishing news for December the 6th, 2021. Uh, boy, there was a, a little bit of repeat information, so I kind of had to sift through my inbox and all the things that have come across my dashboard. Just to let you know, if for some reason you get some inside intel on something or I don't cover something, let me know inside the comments and I'll make sure that I go ahead and cover that in future news broadcasts. Let's get on to it, folks. Starting it out with... The fine folks over Ingram Spark. We'll be talking about them this next week here. They have a new book building tool. You can design your book for free, create your own book online with Ingram Spark's free book building tool. Looking to master your book cover and layout design? Our free online book design tool is available to Ingram Spark publishers. What you can do with Ingram Spark's free book building tool, you can do cover design, book layout, you can meet file requirements, which by the way, Ingram is really picky about the files. So using this book building tool might be something that can save you a lot of stress. Oh, and you can also do it for print books and eBooks. So not too bad, right? Uh, looking for book design tips. They even have a free book design course. Uh, so that is available on Ingram Sparks site. And of course, as per usual, I'll make sure to leave a link to each one of these articles down in the description below. Uh, oh boy, I think I just missed one all together. I did, didn't I? Okay, so this one is pretty interesting and I'm gonna have to kind of come up here to a headshot here so I can explain to you. Streetlib, they're an aggregate publisher. They, had, they sent out a weekly email newsletter of sorts and from Streetlib International, they talked about how Storytel, it's an audiobook publishing platform, they acquired audiobooks.com. Now let's walk back just a little bit because guess who owns Storytel? Spotify. Spotify came in, picked them up earlier on inside the year here. Actually, I think it was May of 2021 when they talked about acquiring Storytel. Now more recently, they just announced that they acquired Findaway, the parent company for Findaway Voices, the uh, downloadable audiobook distribution platform. And Findaway Voices is not the only thing that Findaway does because they have a number of different deliverables through audiobooks. So all that to say this, that Spotify is in a massive acquisition phase. They're just picking things up like crazy. What does this spell for self-publishing and audiobook publishing? Well, we can speculate about that. And naturally, I am going to be doing a podcast about the possible implications and some of the facts surrounding Spotify picking up Findaway Voices. Is it good or is it bad? So that was information from StreetLib. Folks, take a look at StreetLib. They're an aggregate publisher, and they've got a pretty reasonable model in place. All right, let's come on over here to the next item in the news. Folks, I have raved about them time and time and time and again. And that is Book Award Pro. Look at this. Look at this. You see this little seal that's on this book right here? That right there is because of Book Award Pro. And by the way, pick up a copy of the Amazon self-publisher over dalelinks.com slash self-pub book. This is a six-time award-winning book, all because of the help of Find a Way, or Find a Way Voices, Book Award Pro. Um, book Award Pro is uh, increasing the rates on December the 8th. If you've been on the fence about getting on Book Award Pro, you might want to get off the fence and get a plan and deal right now because it's going to be a significant increase. I know the minimum plan right now is $9 per month. It'll go up to $15 per month. So it's a slight bump up, but here's the nice thing is they're going to grandfather in those monthly rates for those people that are actually subscribed right now. And uh, so if you're watching this on the replay, chances are very likely it's already on December the 8th. So you're going to want to make sure you jump on top of that. Go over to dailinks.com slash book award pro to get yourself an account right now. I will tell you, I use the pro plan, which is the top tier plan. If you can't afford that plan, it's totally fine. Walk yourself back to the mid tier or even the entry tier level. Uh, all of them are fantastic. I cannot say enough great praises for Book Award Pro. They've gotten me over 21 book awards for four different books. And it's been a little over a year, a year and four months to be exact. Um, 
three months. Yes. A year and three months that I was able to acquire all that. And that's because of the help of book award pro. All righty. Next item up in the news, audiobooks unleashed has just recently sent out an email here and they're echoing the sentiments of many other uh, publishers out there right now. If you want to get your book published and out before Christmas, you're going to want to make sure that you get it published by December 8th. It's kind of like Book Award Pro. You got to get things ready by December 8th. Otherwise, you're going to be out and you're going to probably have to wait until later. So Audiobooks Unleashed, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I think I covered them in some capacity. I might have had a full podcast devoted to them. Uh, Audiobooks Unleashed is a very interesting and new platform for audiobook publishing, but there's a little bit of an asterisk there because they don't just accept anyone and their mother. They will actually vet out the people that they publish through their platform because they want to make sure that it's good, high quality content that they can stand behind and they don't have issues with. So, um, Audiobooks Unleashed kind of just mentioned that. So, uh, folks, I've been warning you for the past two and a half months that the holidays are upon us. And if you want to have things ready by Christmas, it's starting to get too late. But you at least have a deadline of December the 8th if you want to see your books published and available by Christmas time. Moving a little further forward, we're going to go ahead. There's two news items from the folks over at Publish Drive. Publish Drive just picked up two different uh, distributors here. And one of them is Impic, uh, sell to Poland's number one online book retailer. Publish Drive is expanding its self-publishing platform at full speed ahead. Our newest edition is Impic, Poland's number one retailer of books, international press, and media products. The leading retailer captures 61% of the online marketplace. Yeah, Marketplace in Poland. And we're excited to help you reach your audience in no time. We go over everything you need to know below. And in case you missed our recent store editions, Ingram, iReader, and Baker and & Taylor, and of course, most recently, Voxa. Voxa, be the first to reach Romania's digital book market. Now, I've covered this and I've tapped into it just a little bit. Well, uh, not, not too long ago. Give it a look, but all that to say this, uh, Voxa is Romania's very first subscription mobile reading app, listing ebooks and audiobooks in all genres and languages, focusing especially on English and Romanian content. So this is really cool. I've never been a fan of Publish Drive's transition from the revenue share model over to their current subscription-based model. Why is that? Because you are beholden to them. If you want to continue to distribute to them, you have to pay them a monthly fee. Now, if you're making enough to justify the expense, it makes sense. But a lot of indie authors out there can't take that gamble. Uh, Publish Drive more recently launched a deal over on AppSumo. It's gone. Sorry, folks. But I ended up picking up I think it was like for $149 or something like that. It gives you up to 96 uh, titles you can distribute through there. All that to say this, uh, I picked that up. I'm able to distribute there and I get 100% of all net profits that are coming in from this aggregate publisher. So um, take advantage of these things. Publish Drive has a unique position as an aggregate publisher that I don't see in other platforms. And sure, some people might make the argument that, well, will these smaller avenues even draw any money? Well, think to yourself, if you're currently self-publishing something that would, I, you know, uh, would resonate with the Polish market as well as the Romanian market, then Publish Drive might be for you. And the fact that they distribute ebooks, print books, and audiobooks makes it a little bit easier. So just know that if you go there now to Publish Drive to distribute through there, and you didn't get that, that AppSumo deal, then you're going to have to do the monthly subscription model. And the event that you can't afford the monthly subscription model, well, sadly, you just stop it and they pull your distribution back, and then you're left back at square one. It's a little bit of a risk but one that might be worth looking into, especially as their reach continues to grow. Really, I, I'm so excited about Publish Drive, and I will let you know going into 2022 how my experience is with them with the new model. So 
And uh, last but not least is a little bit of news from the headquarters at Audiobook Creation Exchange. It seems like we're audiobook crazy today. Um, have you met audio analysis? Turn up the feedback. ACX audio analysis now checks spacing. All right. If you are producing your own audiobooks, if you happen to be recording it from the comforts of your home, or you're going to another studio where you have a sound engineer working with you, I highly recommend that before you try to upload it to the ACX platform, that you check each one of those files through their audio lab. Uh, this is essentially what they end up saying. Audio Lab can be used to check any audio for important metrics like peak value and RMS. That means you can upload your auditions, your profile samples, examples of your production audio, etc. for our robot review. And if you don't take that step beforehand, Audio Analysis checks your production audio files within each of your projects as you upload them. Together, this sound screening dream team helps make sure you're putting your best foot forward every time. Uh, all right, so... You're probably saying, well, I can just go ahead and upload it and Audio Lab's gonna take care of it there. Yes, I will tell you though, I ran into some issues because there was just some slight discrepancies. And for whatever reason, I would try to upload it and like, oh, I got rejected. I get back with my sound engineer and it got rejected again. Oh gosh. And then I was like, hey, take Audio Lab, plug it in. Boom. He was able to put it in and get instant feedback from that rather than us continually having to troubleshoot on some of the issues. Now, Audio Lab is not perfect uh, because I actually had the Amazon self-publisher on audiobook passes just fine on find away voices each one of the individual manuscripts passed just fine but when I went to do the compilation of this in general because this has three different books in it for whatever reason it did not pass audio lab uh, or it passed audio lab but it didn't pass their human vetters the human vetters were like well there's some issues so audio labs not perfect and it's not a way of saying oh we're going to approve you upon your first pass so just take it with a grain of salt i just recommend that if you do audiobooks use audio lab because it will at least get it to where you have a lot less heartache and you can do troubleshooting in real time that's the news for today what did you think about some of these news pieces was there something that resonated with you and was there an item that i missed over the past couple of weeks love to hear from you